Hey, what is going on guys? It is Young here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video and today's video I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to improve your aim in Fortnite or just to have a lot better aim overall I have a lot of tips in this video. So make sure you guys stay to the end of the video I have a lot of things that I want to cover that's really gonna help you guys out and before we get into the video, I have a V-Buck giveaway. I'm going to be giving away some V-Bucks at 130,000 subscribers. So if you guys want a chance to win some V-Bucks, all you have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, turn on my notifications, and as well leave a comment down below of your Xbox gamer tag, your PSN gamer tag, or Epic account. And like I said, as soon as I reach 130,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away some V-Bucks. So make sure you guys enter the giveaway. And as well, if you guys want to add me and support me as a creator in the item shop, all you have to do is go over to the item shop, go down to support a creator, type in my code. My code is young humor and you guys will have me added and support as a creator. I really do appreciate everyone who does. And all right, guys, let's write the video. All right. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to be covering a few things you guys need to know when to improve when it comes to improving your aim. And specifically, I want to be talking about uh, SMG accuracy because I talked about it a little bit in a video I made just a few days ago and how important it was and if you wanted to get better at the game that was probably one of the number one things that you need to improve on especially when it came when it came to improving your shots and improving your accuracy SMG was definitely one of the number one things above any other gun in my opinion and so starting out I'll be talking about the SMG you'd want to use because I've had a lot of you guys ask me if you guys should be using the uh, gray SMG blue SMG or if you guys should be rather using the P90 so I want to be talking about those two guns and kind of comparing them just real quick and show you guys exactly which one I use. So starting off, I like to say that I use the uh, blue SMG or even any sort of SMG over the P90 any day of the week for a few reasons. And of course, the P90 does have a maximum ammo capacity of 40 and the blue SMG or any sort of uh, SMG has a maximum of 30. So as you can see in the top left, you can kind of see and compare the stat differences. And the main reason I use the blue SMG uh, more is because the damage on it is a lot better and as well the reload time is a little bit quicker and so with the p90 the reload time is a little bit slower on the blue smg it's a it's a two and then on the p90 it is a three so it is a little bit slower and so in my opinion i think the p90 is a better go when it comes to just spraying at people's walls just really about pissing people off and then the blue smg in my opinion is a lot better if you're trying to move around the map quickly because it does have a faster reload time and as well it does do more damage which is huge because that could be the difference between killing a guy with one shot or killing them with multiple shots so with that being said i would use the blue smg or even a even a gray smg would probably be better than a p90 in my opinion so when it comes to actually aim with an smg or any sort of weapon in this game there's three different ways that you can aim and so the first one being is just a normal aim so you ads and then you shoot you don't do any l2 spamming or you don't hit fire at all so that's gonna be the first one that you can do and then so the second way you can aim is of course le uh, left trigger spamming if you're on pc then it's not really a thing and so those are going to be two and so the last way you can aim is just going to be a straight up hip fire so i think those are the only three ways you can really aim in this game i don't think there's any other ways so you have the normal way you just ads and you shoot and you track the other player and then you kind of have an l2 spam kind of aim and then you have a hip fire aim so those are going to be the three different aims and so i want to talk about in this video the different circumstances and also uh, different reasons on why i would use each in different situations and real quick, I feel like the one thing that's really underrated or the one aim that's really underrated is the hip fire. And the hip fire is one of the best things to use in box fights when you're really, really close to the other player for a few reasons. And I want to talk about exactly what those reasons are. So if you're fighting someone in a box, the best way you can do is hip fire because the reason being, if you try to L2 spam, your aim is going to be all over the place. And even if you are able to hit a, f a few of your shots, even though it is pretty difficult, the other player is not going to have a hard time trading shots with you either because once you're ADSing you're not going to be moving very quickly so if you're in a box and you're fighting the other player it's going to be best to hit fire because in your hit fire you're going to be constantly moving and when you're constantly moving like you can see here it's going to be a lot harder for the other player to hit you and they're going to be panicking a lot more than if you're ADSing because if you're ADSing trying to get shots out that way it's going to be a lot easier because you're going to be standing still and the other player doesn't have a better chance of hitting you so if you hit fire you definitely are going to be able to you know really mess them up and as well just have a better chance of hitting them as well and when you're hip firing as you can see here you always want to try to practice not jerking the stick around too much because you don't want to be throwing your aim all over the place and as you can see 
safe there was a guy behind that wall, you want to practice controlling how uh, fast you move your uh, stick. Because if you move around too much, you're going to be missing a lot more shots. I probably would only hit like two or three of those shots. But as you're coming around, as you can see in the second one, it was a lot more controlled. And more than likely, I was going to hit a lot more shots. The only time you ever want to spam it a little bit left to right is if they're right next to you. Because most of the time, you're going to be hitting most of the shots anyway. And they're going to be moving across your screen a lot faster. So you can you can practice a few different ways. You can spawn, uh, spawn a bot in creative and practice it that way. And as you can see, when I'm jumping around, I'm really controlling my aim. And I'm going to be making sure that I try to hit as many shots as possible. So all in all, I think hip fire accuracy and proving that is going to help you guys out tremendously when it comes to those close range engagements and as well winning in box fights. Maybe if you don't have a trap or maybe you don't even have the walls and you have to go for the elimination on that player. Working on hip fire accuracy and perfecting it to the best you can is really going to help you guys out and you're going to be winning a lot more of these fights and a lot more consistently. And so the next thing that I want to be talking about in this video is when it comes to aim, I talked about the three different ways you can aim. You can aim normally and then track the other player. You have the L2 spam and as well you have the hip fire. So those are the three different ways you can aim. And I want to talk about what circumstances or situations that you'd want to use each. I think that's really, really important because if you aim the wrong way, it's not going to be that bad if you maybe if you, uh, you're you in a close range engagement and you go for an ADS shot. It's not going to be that it's a bad thing. It's just from time to time, it might not be the best thing to do and it might cost you your aim a little bit. And as well, you could be losing the gunfight because the other player just has a better advantage on you from the situation that you're in. And so starting out, I want to be talking about assault rifles. And so the first thing to talk about is so when it comes to the normal aiming, and most of the times in my gunfights, I'm going to be aiming normally when I'm using an M16. When I'm using a heavy assault rifle, it's going to be a little bit different. In pretty much every single gunfight, if I'm using a heavy assault rifle, I'm going to be L2 spamming. Just because it's just one of those guns, it's so much better when you have first shot accuracy because if you don't, your blooms a little bit up i guarantee you even for me i'm missing so many shots and it's just one of those things it's just not very good to deal with so with heavy ar i like to just wait a little bit in between shots and try to go for that first shot accuracy so that's why l2 spam i feel like i have a little bit better accuracy when i do it but when i'm using the m16 most of the time when i'm tracking the other player i might do like kind of an l2 to try to get my aim on when it comes to those ranges and then i'll finish off the gunfight just by tracking the other player and aiming normally but when it comes to l2 spamming really the best time to do it and something that i do all the time is when it comes to those really longer ranges if you're trying to kill someone on the other side of tilted maybe you need to get a guy across the map get those long range tags i think l2 spamming is going to be your best bet because otherwise tracking a player from those kind of ranges is going to be way too hard and i think it's gonna be way too difficult to do so you definitely want to try to give yourself the best advantage possible so unaiming and then re-aiming is going to be a lot easier to line up your shots from those longer ranges but when it comes to those point blank in really close ranges it can be a little bit tricky because sometimes you would want to l2 spam i wouldn't recommend aiming normally when it comes to those close ranges for a lot of reasons l2 spamming can work from time to time depending on how close they are just because it can help you if they move in like a little bit weird of a direction it could help you actually lock onto that player but at the same time when it comes to you know aiming or even l2 spamming a little bit and when i talk about l2 spamming i don't mean like like all the way over the top you're doing it for every single shot but maybe just from time to time in that fight or in that gunshot you're readjusting your aim to try to help you out to hit that shot but l2 spamming can help a little bit in those situations but you have to keep in mind when you're l2 spamming or when you're aiming down your sights you're going to be standing still or moving very very slowly as opposed to when you're hip firing you're going to be moving around a lot quicker and at the same time it's going to be a lot harder for them to hit the shots on you which is going to help you guys win in that gunfight and this is definitely true especially even if you are missing a few more shots than you normally would because from time to time usually you're going to be missing a little bit more shots when you're actually aiming down your sights than you are when you're hip firing because it is a little bit more accurate to actually aim down your sights even at those closer ranges it can help a little bit but if you really practice your hip fire accuracy you're going to be hitting quite a few more shots it's going to be really really consistent and not even going to lie playing on pc it definitely easier it is easier to hit those shots because of the higher frame rate so you're going to be hitting a lot more shots of your hip fire than you would on console but on console you still have to practice it i think it's really really important even though it is a little bit harder it still is doable but when you're moving around in the box, jumping around, moving every sort of direction is going to be so much harder for the other person to hit their shots. So like I said, even if you are missing a little bit more shots, it's still going to help you guys out win in that gunfight. Just because from the other player's perspective, they're going to they're going to be missing so many more shots. 
which can put you at a good advantage to win in that fight. And with that being said, that's wrap up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys liked it. And if you could drop a like on this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on my notifications to be notified for every single new video. And alright guys, I'll see you next video.